In this video, we're going to go through some of the different ways you manage individual members' profiles. When you're on your membership search page and you see your different members, you simply click on the name of the member and it will take you to the member's profile page. This member, as you can see, has not made any contributions to the site yet. However, once the person starts adding content and updating events, perhaps things like that, those would be listed over on this side. You have their contact information. Right here is their avatar, which by clicking on it, you can choose a file and upload a headshot or image of that member. And then your member's profile picture shows up. You can allow your members to do this or your admins can do this in your permission control settings. To add and edit the contact information for your members, you would scroll to the bottom of their profile page and click edit. And this will take you to their profile edit page where you can add additional information such as their name, if you have their phone number, you can change what their display name appears as when they are posting content on the site. You can update their email and information. This is information that you can come in and update and edit yourself or set permissions so that they can update it themselves. If you want them to hide the email address from the public view, you can select that they should do that. If you want them to receive email, you would have this box say yes. And if they're not supposed to receive email, you would click no. And this would prevent the system from accidentally sending members information and email that when they've requested not to receive that email. Under this login information, you have this option, interactive or not interactive. Interactive means that they have a login and a password, and not interactive means they do not have a login and password. Under our different pricing plans, members would always be interactive. However, if they are an expired member no longer with the organization, and you've just been keeping their contact information, by changing this to not interactive, they would not count as part of your pricing. Registered users and members that have an interactive login are how we calculate the monthly cost based on your number of members. You have a notes section under your member profile that's visible to your member. And then you also have an admin only notes section down here. And we have this box that says administrator information. These notes in here and this information on security level are private to site admins only and your members do not have access to this when they view their profile. So this is where you would put private notes and up in this note section, public visible notes. And then we give you optional information. You can have their gender, their date of birth. You would be able to submit changes simply by saving at the bottom. On the user profile here, you also can see what memberships they have, if they have any balance due, and this would take you to the invoice explaining why they owe that money. You would also see paid invoices, and you can see what groups they're members of and what type of group. You can have user groups on your site that are not tied to memberships, and in that case, it wouldn't say it was a member group. You can use the groups settings on their user profile to change what memberships and groups they're in based on the available ones on your site. You would simply move this over this way and likewise select it to move it the other way. So now you're able to understand how you can keep your members contact information up to date so you always know what organization they're with, what email address to use, and what memberships they're involved with in your organization.